Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. You've probably seen the trucks bring it into New Hampshire. Almost half of the solid waste in New Hampshire landfills and incinerators comes from out of state, mostly Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island. And here are the numbers from the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services. Uh, the solid waste disposed in New Hampshire 2008 to 2020, 18 to 20. Notice the column on the right, tons from out of state sources compared to tons from in-state sources that's right next to it. As of 2020, more than 913,000 tons of waste from out of state went into New Hampshire landfills, and there's no evidence this trend has changed. There's a bill in New Hampshire House of Representatives that would change the amount from out of state. House Bill 1632 prohibits newly permitted solid waste facilities from accepting more than 15% of solid waste transported from out of state, recommended by the Environment and Agriculture Committee. So, with me are two of the bipartisan sponsors on this bill, State Rep. Representative Nicholas Germana of Keene and State Representative David Rochefort of Littleton, both on the House Environment and Agriculture Committee. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Good morning, Fred. Thanks for having us. How did we get into this situation where we take more waste from out of state than we uh, dispose of in state? Well, I, I think it, it, all was good, well-intended consequences, you know, but the problem is states around us, around us have banned the disposal of certain types of trash, yep. uh, particularly noxious, voluminous trash, and uh, New Hampshire hasn't. So it became a logical dumping ground to um, ship it up from Massachusetts, ship it up from Connecticut, and put it in the ground uh, yeah. uh, up here in New Hampshire. Nick, same question. Yes, I mean, to, as Dave was saying, the fact is that the field has changed all around us, where the states around us have uh, put into statute much more restrictive laws. We haven't been as proactive in, in Vermont, looking at Vermont, Maine in particular, have refused to uh, take out-of-state waste, as some of New Hampshire's municipalities as well. Um, now, the language in the bill prohibits newly permitted uh, solid waste sites from accepting more than 15% of solid waste uh, from out of state, as you know. So that includes newly permitted, not current sites. Is that right? That's correct. These are This is looking to the future and looking for um, opportunities where we can protect uh, our, our green spaces in the future. The idea is, you know, where there's currently landfills, that, that soil has already been contaminated. Yep. Uh, but looking, you know, down the road, we want to protect our you know, unpolluted waters and grounds from any additional... Uh, now, there's uh, another bill, as you know, in your committee that would prohibit private ownership of landfills, again, only for new facilities. Um, and here's that, uh, and here's that bill prohibits new wa uh, solid waste landfill permits in the state for facilities owned by any person other than the state of New Hampshire or a political subdivision. Uh, Nick, what about that? Uh, thank you. Uh, I want to say that all of these bills really came out of a, a study committee that was put forward originally by Senator Donovan Fenton to look at this larger problem. This is one of those bills that our study committee, bipartisan, bicameral study committee, yeah. recommended. And it gives us a lot of flexibility if the state owns the land, as it does in some landfills in Maine and Rhode Island. We can limit out-of-state waste. We can charge different rates for in-state and out-of-state waste. And we can also uh, regulate or discriminate the kinds of waste that comes in from out of state. Of course, the big sites in New Hampshire are private, like yes. waste management, for instance. Yes, and, and the ones that are, are publicly owned in this case are municipal. There are no state-owned in New Hampshire, uh, but there are uh, really good examples of municipally-owned landfills. And in the both these bills have had thumbs up from your committee, right? Yeah, yeah, 1632 passed out of the House Environmental Committee uh, unanimously, and more importantly, it passed the House unanimously. So okay. the House has uh, typically been very uh, keen on, on these types of bills. We've struggled in the Senate. The Senator Avard has signed on to this. We're, we're hopeful they, that they'll, they'll get it through. And a final note, New Hampshire state law sets goals of reducing waste that go into landfills and incinerators, 25% by 2030 and 45% by 2050. And that's a story for a future New Hampshire's business show. <laughs> so my thanks to State Representatives Nicola Germana of Keene, who's on the Agriculture and Environment Agriculture Committee, and David Rochefort of Littleton, who's on the Ways and Means Committee. Thank you to both of you. And if you missed part of this briefing on uh, solid waste in New Hampshire, you can go to WMUR.com, where it will be posted all this week.